Ever heard the old phrase, strike when the iron is hot? Well, it's never been hotter than now. All this month at Appalachian Wireless, you can get the Samsung GS6 or the GS6 Edge for just one penny when you send them for service. The Galaxy S6, normally $49.99, now just a penny. The Galaxy S6 Edge, normally $99.99, now just a penny. Strike now while supplies last. Better service, bigger savings. Serving you for the last 25 years at Appalachian Wireless. Several emergency first responders were called to Bad Branch Falls in Letcher County Saturday as reports came in of a hiker who had fallen from the falls. 26-year-old Justin Maynard of Whitesburg was hiking to the top of the falls when he slipped and fell 70 feet into a shallow pool at the bottom. The incident is very similar to another rescue effort that occurred at the falls nearly two months ago when another hiker fell. Officials say although the hike to the falls is a short, quick hike, it can take a very long time to carry someone to safety if injured. It's about 1.2 miles from the parking lot to the falls. Uh, the first part of that is really pretty rough. The second part is steep, but it's a, a decent trail the last time I was on it. Uh, this is uh, meant to be a day hike. You know, you go in there, it takes maybe 45 minutes in, 45 minutes out if you're walking it without carrying somebody. If you're carrying somebody, you're talking about an hour and a half out. So. Officials continue to stress the dangers of hiking the top of the falls. People, please, don't climb to the top of the Bad Branch Falls. It's, there are signs there that note that it's dangerous cliffs. Take them to heart. It's very slick up there. And uh, the woman who fell Two months ago is the first person I've ever known of who survived that fall. Uh, everybody else that I have known of did not survive. So far this person has survived. I don't know what kind of condition they're in because I haven't worked with them, but it's a very dangerous place. Rescuers from Neon, May King, Jenkins, Gordon, Cumberland River, and Sandlick Fire Departments, as well as Pine Mountain Search and Rescue, Kentucky State Police, and the District 1 Constable's Office all assisted in the rescue effort. Maynard remains in critical condition at Holston Valley Medical Center in Kingsport, Tennessee. Reporting from Pine Mountain for EKB News, I'm Sean Allen.